LA think they like me. Yeah, am I white? No, 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 baby, smoke so much, don't miss some fights. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is container with most water. So in this, we are given an array called height of length n, where each element inside the array represents the height of a line. So there are nine lines present inside this array and each of them has its respective value at the height index position. Now we have to calculate the maximum amount of water that the container can store. So we have to use the lines as the borders and see how the water can be stored so that it stores the maximum amount of water. So basically you have to choose two lines such that it will maximize the water contained. So in this case the line at the first index position and the last index position are forming the largest container. So we take the height of the minimum of the both lines and multiply it with the distance between both lines. So let's see how this problem can be solved using a two pointer approach. Let's take the same example they have given us. So we are given an array here. As this is going to be a two pointer approach, I have declared the two pointers left and right. Left will be pointing at the starting that is at the zeroth index position and right will be pointing at the end of the array that is the last index position. And I have also declared two variables to calculate the max area and also the current area for that iteration. So the current area will be calculated using this formula minimum of height of left or height of right. So the minimum of this into right minus left. Height of left is equal to 1. Height of right is equal to 7. So we'll take 1. 1 into right minus left. Right is pointing at 8 and left is pointing at 0. So this will be 1 into Right is going to be 8 because it's at the 8th index position and left is at 0. So 1 into 8 is equal to 8. So current area is equal to 8. Max will be calculated with choosing the max of current area or max area. So current area is now 8 and max is also 8. Now to proceed further in the next iteration, this iteration will happen until left is less than right. So until these two pointers intersect, this iteration will happen. To proceed further, we either have to move the left or the right. So either of one should be moved. So to decide which one should move, so we are going to pick the minimum of both. Since the minimum of both is 1, that is at left, we increment left with 1. So left will now be pointing here and right will remain at the last index position. Now again we have to calculate the current area. So current area is minimum of both. Minimum of both is 7, that is right. So 7 into right minus left, right is at 8 and left is at first index position. So 7 into 7 equal to 49, current area equal to 49, max area is currently 8 and current area is 49. So greater among both is 49, so we replace that with max area. Now to proceed further, again we have to check the minimum of both. Minimum of both is 7 here. So we decrement right by 1. Now right is pointing here and left is pointing here left did not change because only right moved one step to the left. Now again we have to calculate current area. Minimum of both is height of right that is 3. So 3 into right minus left. Right is at 7 minus 1. 3 into 6 equal to 18. So current area is equal to 18 and max area is at the max of both. Max of both is 49, so 49 will remain the same. Now in the next iteration, again we have to check the minimum of both. Minimum of both is at right, so we decrement right by 1. Now again we have to calculate the current area. Current area is minimum of height of left and right. Both are same. Left is pointing here, right is pointing here. We can pick either of the both, so 8 into right minus left. Right is 6, left is 1. 6 minus 1, 8 into 5 equal to 40. Current area is now 40. Max of 40 and 49 is still 49. So 49 will remain the same. In the next iteration again we have to pick the minimum of both. As both the pointers are having the same value. Whenever they are having the same value or less than that value we have to move left. So let's move left by 1 to the right. Now left is pointing here and right is pointing here. Let's calculate the current area. Current area is minimum of both heights. Minimum of both heights is 6. So 6 into right minus left, that is 6 minus 2, 4, 6 into 4 to 24. So current area is now 24, max among them is still 49. 
to proceed further we have to check the minimum of the both heights minimum of both sides is left so we'll move left by one to the right now left is pointing here and right is pointing here let's calculate the current area that is minimum of both that is two because because left is pointing here right minus left six minus three two into three is equal to six so current area is six but max will remain 49 because that is the greater among the both. Now to continue the next iteration, we'll move left by 1 because that is pointing at the minimum height. Let's calculate the current area. Current area is minimum of both. That is 5 into right minus left 6 minus 4. 5 into 2 equal to 10. So current area is now 10. Max area will remain 49 because that is the greater among the two. In the next iteration again, we have to move left by 1 to the right because that is the minimum among both. Now left is pointing here and right is pointing here. Now let's calculate the current area. Current area is minimum of both that is 4 that is pointing here. 4 into right minus left 4. So current area is 4 but max area will remain the same. Now let's move the left pointer to the right because that is the minimum among the both. Now in this iteration left is pointing at 6 and right is also pointing at 6. So we stop the iteration because both the pointers have met and now we return whatever is present inside the max area which will be our output. So 49 is our output for this question and that is the expected output. Now let's code it up. Now let's implement the steps that I've shown. Let us declare the pointers first. Left will be pointing at the 0th index position and right will be pointing at the last index position. Last index position will be height dot length minus 1. Now let's declare the two area variables, max area and current area. Initialize it to zero. Now let's start the iteration for the two pointers. This iteration will happen until left is always less than right. So while left is less than right. Now let's calculate the current area, which is equal to minimum of height of left or height of right so math dot min height of left comma height of right into the distance between the two pointers right minus left current area I'm going to typecast it with an integer now let's calculate the max area which will be maximum among current area and max area so math dot max current area or max area so maximum among both will be stored inside max area variable now we have to set our pointers for the next iteration so if height of left is less than or equal to height of right then we increment the left pointer else if if height of left is greater than height of right then we decrement the right pointer and this will happen until left is less than right so until both the pointers meet this will happen and whatever is stored inside max area will be returned as the output so let's return max area now let's try to run this code we are getting the expected output. Let's submit this code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the height array and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space except variables. That's it guys. That's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, no, 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 baby, smoke so much, don't be some ice.